Uh, Roland, you go home to your mother. Yes. Uh, and you you enter her home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. What up, mom? Uh. Uh. You ever seen this kind of piece? Uh, she looks at it and she says, "No, no. Why would you get that?" Uh, some guys found it on the street. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um so I tell her that I want a drunk uh drinking contest. She uh begrudgingly nods and says, okay, that's good. <laughs> and um I ask her if she knows anything about a demon named Gazit Kashut. So your mother has very base level knowledge of who this demon is um you know she she might have heard the stories of the obelisk uh or the obsidian uh mahir and she, but she you know isn't too much into it into it she's not super knowledgeable but she's she's heard of it okay um do you know because I I know I don't know where my father is, but do you know if dad could have anything to do with this? To do with what? The demon. Dude. Um he doesn't he's he's disappeared. I he mean disappeared. Make make a uh persuasion check. Persuasion check. That I can do. Chris about to be singing like Temptations. <laughs> it was the 3rd of September. <laughs> oh damn it. Oh, shit. I hit the plus sign. My bad. It's okay. Enter. I hit the plus sign again. Okay, Take persuasion. No. One. <laughs> One. Okay, with a 12. Um, she, she doesn't really know what you're talking about. Um... And she says, I don't know what your father would have to do with the demon or that stone or, like, why? Why Why are you asking? No, the guy that found it on the street knocked the statue over. <laughs> oh. Well, that's, um, that's not good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, hmm. So ultimately, your mother doesn't have any relevant information. Um, okay. you know, she kind of at least acknowledges that the story existed at, in her childhood as well. So, she, oh, like, so it's a, it's a super old story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this. So, this is now like. Imagine. Yeah, this is like a now large city, and this is it, it's basically like saying like a New York. Uh, city style legend from like the 1700s kind like of a, deal, like a weird New Jersey fact or something. Yeah, like it's okay. it's, alligators it, in the it's not Clayton Road I mean, type shit. I mean, like even even older than like alligators in the sewers, like the you know some something like hundreds of years probably. If you want to see alligators in the sewers, check out Fall Out Empire Waste. <laughs> <Gotcha. laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well, thanks for the information, moms. Uh, it's good to see you again. <laughs> everything all right? You need some money, or no? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Can I borrow five bucks? <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you with, "You better not come at me with that eye." <laughs> 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 oh that's funny so philip oh as you get to your parents house in the middle of the city uh your your home is is different than the others um whereas these other houses are just like a single room this is like a full like manor style thing um this guy right Bezos <laughs> the D &D world, right so you've got like a um so you've got a manor. Um, and it's, Elon Musk's child. 
it's it's got like a lot of furniture in in it so what when you enter in um the first first way that you enter it's kind of like a uh a hallway that goes around the kitchen area um and then there's multiple bedrooms so you have like the bedroom where your parents live the bedroom where you live there's also like a guest bedroom then there's the bathroom and there's also like a bath area in the back of the house so like you've got like this big big uh home rich people shit um people shit (laughs) okay i'm 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 gonna knock on the door that belongs to my parents okay so you knock on the door um let's see yeah right mark all right so your your mother is there. Your father is not there, but your mother's there. She answers the door and she says, "Hey, welcome back." Hello, mother. It is me, your child. Yeah, she says that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, I have some questions that I need answered, and I want to know if you can help me. Sure. What's up? I walk in. What up, mamas? So it's a, a single single room um home. It's uh hold on, let me double check this. So you got the one story building, it's got large windows, which is nice, but um the furniture's kinda rough. Uh and you've got like a bunch of dried fruit hanging from the ceiling and some dried corn in the corner, and uh there's also some chickens kind of inside. What? Mama, are you cooking anything? Not yet, not yet, almost. Aww. All right, so Keep check this out. <laughs> so check this out. I got a couple of questions. Uh, remember that story of my childhood you used to always kind of tell me and warn me about? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, Um. since you're my mom, uh, I might have broke it. <laughs> she, she's, she folds her arms and she... she presses her lips and lets you continue okay but but check this out right so i might have broke it like like a might have like 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 a might have um like a mighty might have um make, make a deception check <laughs> oh <laughs> lie <lying, man. laughs> all right I might, you this know man. like it was it this was man. it was mostly two other people Mm-hmm. But I might have been involved. But I, I know my out. boy wasn't doing that, something uh, you, like that. You, I, I, you feel my boy mama, would not you, do you, ra- you raised me right. It was these other two. Now check <laughs> this out. So since I was still in the vicinity mm-hmm. of something breaking, um, and of the menhir breaking that you told me about in our childhood, uh, I do want to know. Um, there might be a demon. Uh, and it might come to this city. So, but with that, I need you to try and do me a favor because I'm gonna try and fix that that issue. And um, I am trying to find out the name of one of the people that built it originally and see if they're still here or if their descendants are still here. And since you told me about it in the first place, you might know, right? <laughs> She kind of folds her her arms. She's like, well, how old do you think I am? I, I, you know. That obelisk has been here there? for 500 years. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who made that. Aren't you like $4.99? Oh, you finish that sentence. <laughs> $4.99. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, check this out. If you hear anything about anything you send send a send a send a phoenix and a pinger say whatever you gotta do um and i will i have to exit the city to try to find something but i will keep you posted i'll write letters you better keep in touch you know i will mama now um last thing is before i leave um Guards might be looking for me because of a thing I did in the shop, and I might have killed a man. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you just you 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 can hear the visuals just in your head. Just having grown up with this woman, you know she is now riled up. But you have you have booked it just in time. <laughs> 
So as Rena leaves, uh, Philip, you continue talking with your mother. Oh, okay. Um. So I have to ask you a question. Uh, last night, me and a couple of guys may or may not have destroyed the the Meneer in the town, and uh, we found out that it was it might have been the only protection for the city to keep a demon named Grizzit out. And uh, do you know if there's more than one or if this is the only one in, in well, the kinda, world? She kind of looks at you and she's like, oh, honey, you don't believe in that stuff, do you? I'm No, but... I mean, a, a piece of rock that stopped it. I mean, we know there are, you know, magic and demons. If a demon wanted to come here, I think he'd just come. No, yeah, I, I know, I know. But, but the people I'm with seem to be scared not me because you know of course but um do you know if there's any other ones or if if the people who built them are still alive or around well i know that that is almost as old as the town itself um so i don't think anyone be alive unless maybe if they were elves but most likely not um not that i know of uh, and I don't know of any other towns that had that. I, 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 I've noticed it. It's right on the border of the inner city, and it's always been an eyesore. I, I, I never really liked looking at it, but I haven't seen one elsewhere. But I also haven't gone to too many other cities. We've we've lived here most of my life. Okay. Um. Do you know where my father is? <laughs> uh, he's out. In the shop, I believe. I think he was getting uh, some dinner from the bakery. Okay. Um, thank you for your help anyways. Of course. I'm going to go look for my father now. Okay. All right. So are you actually going? Yeah. All right. So you, uh, there, there is a, like a, a bakery close by okay. um, that your father would normally go to. And it, it's, it's kind of like a, a bakery slash uh butcher um so he's going there and like you know your family are well off enough that he's getting like pre-made meals so it's not like he's bringing home ingredients to go cook he's just like buying you know a roast and it's gonna bring it home to eat it um so (laughs) so so you find him he's he's sitting in there waiting for the uh you know the food to come out okay uh Hello, father. It is I, your son. He literally <laughs> says that. Yes, I, I see. Um, I see you. Uh, I just came from speaking with with uh, my mother, and I wanted to ask you the same questions I asked her. Um, me and my friends, me and some people I met, who now I guess consider friends, uh, may or may not have gotten really drunk and destroyed a a monument in the town. Um. We we they believe that it was keeping our our town safe from a demon, and I wanted to know if you have any information. Um, he he doesn't seem to really be um concerned. He yeah. he thinks about it for a bit and he says, "Well, that that stone's been there for as long as I can remember, and I never really asked." Uh, where it came from. I never had much interest in such matters. Okay, and uh, and I guess that means you wouldn't know if there's more than one, or if the people are still here, who created it, or any of the descendants. I've never really looked into it. I definitely wouldn't have known myself. Um, and that's the only one I've ever seen. Uh, I haven't seen any, but I also haven't been looking. Okay, um... I don't think I have anything else to ask then. Um, I'm going to grab some food for the homies and uh, I guess make my way back to them. Okay. So you grab some, uh, um, you know, some cooked cooked food and you go out west and meet everybody by the town entrance. I have favors for you guys. Here's a plate of food. My cool man. Enjoy it. I take a plate of food for sure. Hell yeah, I'll take that. So you guys, this you from guys. the rich side of town. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Get that good food. 
So um, at this point, I didn't. I didn't learn any. My my parents didn't have any information on anything because, well, my my family's real skeptical about these types of things. Yeah, my my mom, you know, she's a true believer in it, but she didn't know anything about it. My my mom, she knew of it, but like, you know, she not that old. <laughs> Nothing, nothing we didn't already know. Okay. Um, what do you think our next move should be? Because we have no information on in the city, uh, any other locations or uh, the people who built it. Yeah. Um, I checked the book that we got from the church to see who wrote it um it's there's not really like an author's name it's kind of just a it, it's it, you can kind of tell that this is a book that has been transcribed over and over and over again it's kind of like the bible but not the bible um, okay it's it's just one of those books that have existed for so long and no one really took credit for writing it okay um well I think um, I think you should take a look at maybe what's the next biggest city? Because I feel like if this city has one, it probably wouldn't be in a town or a village or something small. It would probably be in the major cities, right? Uh, I guess that that'd be safe to assume. I guess. Yeah. That would be a good assumption. Okay. So, um, what you could do is you you know the vague area around, but um, you could always try to get a map of the immediate area or a world map or you know however you guys want. Uh, I suggest that we go to the market to find a map and get some stuff for this journey that we're about to take okay there's a um there's also just a generic store uh not far from here called nelkins um and nelkins. you you could just go to that store as opposed to going all the way to the market okay yeah let's hit that store up. let's okay. let's go to um, nelkins guys yeah uh, right now, should, you stay, should you stay behind for a little bit just in case there's any guards over there Yes. Or, hear me out, let's take the back roads to Nelkins. I mean, you're not even that far. You're, like, maybe two blocks away. All right, Mark, you sprint. I'll meet you there. <laughs> I'm going to stay here. Y'all go get the map. Meet me back here. That's All right, so, so Rena waits at the gate. Um, and and you open. guys... <laughs> so you guys go basically down the street. Um, so you find this this store and it's it's actually quite close to the town gate it's uh drunken revelers outside and they're next to like a big drinking hall um and the general store is just like a wooden cabin it's got blue tile roof and uh, a row of flowers around the building and when you get to the store the back wall there's actually a suit of armor kind of just standing there it's not for sale or anything it's just decoration um and then there's another full suit of armor in the middle of the room, just holding some of the specialty items. And uh, you find Nelkin, who actually owns the shop, okay. as well as four other people. Um, and everybody's in this building right now as a halfling. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to uh, make my way to Nelkin and ask him if he has a, uh, a town or a world map in his inventory. So... He looks around and he's like, I, I might have something. So he scrolls through some stuff and he's like, well, I don't have a full world map. Um, I used to have a uh, an encyclopedia that had that, but I, I sold my last one. They're not very popular. But I do have a basic map of this section of the continent, if you'd like. Yeah, I would I would like that. Sure. Uh, and it's, it's cheap. I'll, I'll sell it to you for two copper. Okay, thank you. I would like to purchase it. You rich motherfucker. <laughs> Two copper? I mean, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a copper piece is like the equivalent of a penny or a dollar. I, I mean, it's it, it it varies. Different things kind of like it's it's not a comparable thing. Mm, okay, there's no like. Uh... Cause like for us, certain things are cheaper because we can mass reduce it, you know. Like, oh, okay. Water is cheap because we live in America, but this place water is not as cheap, so it's yeah. it's not as yeah, uh, comparable. But yeah, so the, the copper ten copper make a silver, and then ten silver make a gold. Okay, cool. Um, I, I've in the side details channel I posted a image of the local map. So you can see Weolia, the city of temples, um, right outside a jungle. Uh, you can see the floating city of Chico, as well as some other areas off to the right. There's the citadel of the Gargoyle Knight, uh, Pomaraka, and Tonkoria. Mm. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, uh, Ronan, are you grabbing anything before we go? That's it, Roland? Are you, saying, are you grabbing anything before we go? Um, I look around to see if there's anything that I might need for this journey. Okay. So, I mean, this is more of like a general goods store, so more for like, you know, workers. But you mm -hmm. do notice that there are, um, there's hammers, there's some tool sets, um, smithing tools, uh, stuff like that. Um, you could probably look around if you wanted to search for something specific, you could probably ask. He might have something in the back. But um, there's nothing out in the open right now, at least. Um, can I ask him if he has any type of like bandages or anything to so, make like a med kit? Okay, so um, he 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 runs out, he, or he runs back rather, um, mm -hmm. and he starts looking through the 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 his his stuff. Um, and he, he looks through, um, and he's like, "Do you are you looking for just bandages? Do you want a pre-made kit?" Uh, both. Okay. Or not bandage necessarily so much as cloth. Do you have any like cloth per se? Um. Well, I do have clothes that I could sell you, and you could rip it into cloth. Okay, so I buy one shirt. Okay, so... And uh, then the med kit. The pre-made okay. med kit. So he comes out, he's got the, the shirt, and he, he says, unfortunately, I'm out of med kits, uh, but I do have a shirt that I can sell you for five silver. Do I have those? I just think you should. Yeah. Do I have exactly five silver? Because I'm cheap. I'm I mean, cheap. You, no, you've got... You've got much more than five silver. All right, let me get that. I mean, okay. I will kindly receive that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you do that, um, and now you get some cloth. Okay, so I'll just give you the cloth. So are you... Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Anything else I can get you? Um... Uh, you asked him if he had any information on this guy, did you, Philip? I did not. I just, I just, uh, I asked for the map, um, just to get back quickly. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask him if he has anything to do with the church, and if he might know anything about uh, Gargamel. What, what's the guy's name? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot his name. Grizzit. Grizzit. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Make an insight check. See, see insight. if anything. Okay. <laughs> That's in game, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you look at him, you ask him, he says no, and you realize he probably has no idea what you're talking about. All right, so then let's get back to Mark because he's right. probably shitting bricks. <laughs> so you guys leave the store and you meet up at the uh, the city gates. What up, Wodies? 
Yo, uh, we have. Oh I was God. able to um, retrieve a map. It's not a world map, but is it is a map of uh, the continent. Hey. Okay. okay. Take a like look at a it. partial part of the continent. Yeah. Okay. So what what, what we got here? What are we looking at? Um. It looks like the closest place to us, uh, to us aside from Dusk River, is the floating city of Chico. Floating it's just like Chico, right? Chico. Chico. C H I K O. A floating city sounds like what we need. That does sound like uh, something magical. Right? It does sound a little magic y. <laughs> it does. And we is need that, another map. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm down to head there. Yeah. Um, let's do it. Okay. So, uh, you guys, you are you gonna walk? Are you gonna rent a horse? Or are you gonna let's, uh, rent a cart? Uh, this, How long this dude's walk? this dude's huge as hell. Why don't we just uh? Get this guy to pay for a cart. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't mess with me, bro. Don't mess with me, Roland. Um, is there a way we can find out prices for these? Uh, yeah. So right outside the 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 walls, there are a stable. So if you want to go talk to the stable owner, you can talk to them. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk to the stable owner. Okay. So as you do that, uh. Let me get the basic pricing for stuff. Uh... Maybe not that. Hold on. Sorry. That's fine. Expenses. Okay. Meals. Okay, so if you want to take coach cab, um, it's three copper pieces per mile. Okay. And looking at the map, um, the the squares are basically ten miles. So okay. to go up there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So ninety miles. So ninety times. Three copper piece. So, two hundred seventy uh, copper piece. I think we're welcome, guys. <laughs> I mean, two hundred seventy copper pieces is just two point seven gold. Oh, copper! Oh, you did say copper. Okay. <laughs> and how, how many? How many does it seat? And can it support me? It can definitely support you, and it can seat okay. up to four people. Okay. Cool. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll pay for that, but I'm I'm gonna make Ronan walk. Roland walk. <laughs> My man. My Damn. Man. <laughs> yes. Damn. <laughs> I'll remember. I'll remember that next time you want to buy beer for us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you buy me too next time. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get the uh, I'll get the cab for us. Okay, so you you take the cab. Um, so it's still, you know, 90 miles you got to go. So this is going to take quite a while. So it's it's the better part of, like, a full day. Okay. Um, you guys have basically spent most of the day running around anyway. So it's an overnight carriage ride. Um, and you get there probably about noon. Um, okay. You'll you'll pull in to there um, if, if you want to take this route. If you want to do it now and whatnot. That sounds good to you guys? Yeah, yeah. It sure good. does. I'm going to give me a floating right. city iced tea. <laughs> All right. I feel that. All right. All right. So as you go, the, um, the, the cab has a driver, so you don't have to worry about driving yourself. Um, and as you go, you make it about two-thirds of the way. Um, you're you're quite close. You're you're out of the jungle at this point, or like on the outskirts of the jungle, and uh, make a perception check. Everybody. Yep. Perception. Oh, big baller in the mix. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Rolling. 
So oh. Roland's, Roland's facing backwards, doesn't see anything. Um, Philip isn't really paying too much attention, but Rena actually looks out the window and kind of sees something in the distance that has, probably has nothing to do with what's going on, but might be interesting. Um, you could uh, look into it or, you know, say something or it, it's it's all up to you. Uh, I, wanna, I definitely want to look. I pull out my telescope. Yeah, telescope. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? Uh, to look at it, to see what it is before I before I make the detour, before I recommend the detour. Okay, so um, you do that, and basically, one sec, so do a, an investigation check. Ugh. Uh, the world will know pain. After one. <laughs> uh. The world will know pain. <laughs> oh man. Uh I done looked it out the shit the wrong way and everything. Like <laughs> you got it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as you kind of hold out the the telescope to look into it, the sun kind of shines in and you you, you blind yourself a bit, and by the time you readjust yourself, the carriage has long passed what it is. You make a mental oh. note that there might have been something back there, but you don't okay. you don't look at it too much. Got you. Mental note, it, though. Yes. So at this point, you now make it to the city of uh, the floating city. Floating city. Chico. Chico. So at this point, you park outside the city walls and depart and the, the carriage goes back the way it came to go to reset itself um, so this city um, give me a minute I have to pull up Chico uh, oop. that's not what I wanted sorry uh Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so Chico is smaller than the city you came from. It's um, still a, a medium-sized city, but it's it's not nearly as big as before. Um, and it is pretty much all floating on a marsh. Um, there's no you know shoreline or anything, but it's 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 on it's it's floating on water oh okay so it's floating on water okay okay mm -hmm. do we see an entrance yeah yeah the the cart basically dropped you off at the southern entrance. okay okay, okay cool okay cool southern entrance um are there any guards around um yeah there's there's an out outing outward wall guard all right uh i'm gonna ask the guard if there's any type of uh bar like a tavern tavern yeah you're right <laughs> that's right uh, <laughs> he says yeah there, there's definitely something um th there's several depending on what you really want to uh get but yes, there's plenty of bars. There's some right right on the main road once you enter here. I'm going to ask the guard if there's any statues made of this piece right here. And I pull out my obsidian piece. The obelisk? I'm pulling that piece yeah, out. People the obelisk. Like it. <laughs> um, he, he looks at it and he says, not that I can think of. Um, is there supposed to be something specific or... No, nothing, nothing specific. Just, just wondering if you guys have any, uh, you know, statues or anything similar to the to what this is made out of. Yeah, he, he doesn't really. Nothing strikes a, a chord to him. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm gonna ask him if he knows if there's any elder elves that live in the town. Uh, he says that there are definitely elves here, um, but he himself doesn't know any elder elves, but he's sure that there's some that live. 
Okay. Uh, then we're good to head in? Yeah, we're good to head in. Cool. Okay. So as At you least we know at... two important things in a bar. <laughs> Yo, tavern. People have information at a tavern. This is where people go to conversate. Con- it, congregate. You know? True. Converse. Is conversate a word? It is, right? I mean yeah. I'm sure at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be using it. Okay, so as you enter the town, um you see that there there's still like a, a generic wall that goes around um and you just kind of bisect through the wall and the the main road goes off a bit and kind of curves um so whereas the last town that you were in had very much like blocks section it's this one seems more inorganic or rather more organic um like the houses existed before the roads almost <laughs> um mm. So there, there's crooked streets, but it's, you know, ho- homey little uh, buildings here and there. Um, and you can look around if, if you want to look for a specific type of building, specific person, specific shop. And um, my map only it only shows, like, uh, like the, the the city name. It doesn't show, like, what the city looks like, right? Just, uh... Right. Um, yeah. However, um, by the wall, there's kind of, like, a, an entrance like visitor center almost so if you wanted to get more information about the city you could do that okay uh i want to hit the general shop up okay so you're gonna look for a general store yeah yeah okay what about you guys um why go go ahead chris i'm gonna look for that tavern that the guard was talking about okay so you're gonna look for a tavern and max are you up to i'll go to the visitor center all right so you get the visitor center um, and you get a map of the city. They're just giving it out for free. Okay. So there you go. Thank you. And... Feel this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Rena and uh, Roland start walking north, looking around, and Rena sees... Uh, you were looking for a general store, you said? Yeah. Okay, so you... you um, you see a general store. It pops up. It's called the Survivor's Knot. Um, and it's a plaster building with a wood frame. It's two stories. It's got a cute yellow tile roof. There's a koi pond out in front because it's kind of like the living ecosystem kind of deal. Um, then there's some planter boxes on the walls and sacks full of fruit um, on the, the main porch. Okay. Cool, cool. I definitely, uh, I definitely want to walk in there. Okay, so you go there, and then Roland, you continue on for a bit, and you see the Leering Hammer, which is a tavern that's just a simple timber building with a brown tile roof and shuttered windows. Um, it's well lit with magic torches. These are what's called Everlight torches, so they just never oh. go out. Um, nice. And there's a beautiful oak countertop that you can see even from the street level, um, and as you enter the the tavern, there's also a stage for like performers, but there's no one performing right now. Cool. Okay. So um, I'm going to go in, buy a drink, and yell out loud, I'll buy a drink if anybody has information about this Obsidian Rock. Okay. So um, would you like a tankard of bitter, some vodka, or a tankard of ale? I'll take some ale. All right, so you take some ale. So you pay for your drink. Uh, you drink that, and you start doing that. There's four people, um, and let's see if anyone you gives a shit. Bro. <laughs> 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 hey, hey. One okay, drink. Okay, so t- two people actually pay attention to you. They kind of wander over, and they look in your hand to see what's up. And they're looking at it, and they say... What what is this? Um, this is a uh, obsidian rock. Um, uh, from the town of. Is it obsidian what? or obelisk? Obsidian. So obsidian is a material, right. and obelisk is the shape. Got you. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's obsidian. It's in. That's a tongue twister. 
City and Obelisk? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, it's an obsidian obelisk from the town of Waleo. Well, it's a piece of the obelisk. A piece, a piece of the obelisk that uh, two guys I was dealing with um, found on the ground. Uh, um, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. I'll buy you a beer. Um, so you see the two people there. There's a female dwarf and there's a male gnome. Um, the, dw- the gnome kind of looks at it and just kind of shrugs, not really knowing. And the female dwarf looks more into it so she's she's short she's four foot tall but she's muscular um she's kind of like a a western style woman with a simple brown robe with violet stripes and the hood uh she's got short blonde hair and amber eyes and she's kind of like not shifty but she's looking around like a lot but she despite her eyes looking around she's very calm and collected um and you can see like her hands are very worn well worn like she's she's a farmer like she she okay. works the farms um and she just naturally talks kind of like a, with a slur uh, like like slur, 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 um but you know you can understand you're fine um so she's looking at it and she says well i i do know that there was or is um another rock in the middle of the woods or the jungle um nearby uh, i believe just to the north of here um i've never really checked it out it's it's not marked or anything it's just it just kind of exists um it it looks like the same material but i'm not too familiar with it um in the jungle you say yeah, like, this city is built on a marsh. I can tell you're not from around here. Um, and this marsh is basically surrounded by jungle. Okay. Um, do you know which direction that is? And so, um, do you have a map maybe you could point to? So I don't have a map, but you it's just, just north of here. It's not far. It's probably less than 10 miles. All right. Uh... Thank you very much. Uh, allow me to buy you this uh, cup of ale. <laughs> All right, so you buy her a cup of ale, and I hit her with the charm. I hit her with the <laughs> <laughs> so she she's very she's very uh, thankful for the for the drink, and she goes back with the uh, the male gnome. <laughs> 